What's good, y'all? Rich Sosa back in the building with another banger, man. So look, before we get into anything about this video, I just gotta go ahead and say thank you to the man upstairs. Thank y'all for your support. And man, if y'all wanna go ahead and join the Rich Gang family, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Anybody who wants to go ahead and help me out, be sure to turn on post notifications so y'all can see when I upload every single day. And be sure to hit that like button, y'all. So as you can see by the looks of the title and the screen today, I'm going to be bringing y'all some Scotty Pippen two-way pass first wing gameplay, y'all. Some of it's going to be 1v1, some of it's going to be clips, but I'm going to be really showing y'all what this build is going to be able to do in the right hands. I have some 3v3, a lot of these clips are going to be very nice and solid when it comes down to it. And just to remind y'all, this build is still not maxed out. I've been grinding y'all, bringing y'all different types of videos. I'm going to be bringing y'all different builds with gameplay as well with NBA players, so do not worry. But as you can see so far on the defensive end, this build is really going to be able to do everything that you want. Now, when it comes down to next gen this year, 1v1 or the market has to definitely be my favorite game mode to be running, y'all. Reason being, it's quick to be able to get games and also you face a lot of different builds and different types of competition in this. And the number one thing that really drags me to it is the fact that no matter what happens, this game is solely based on you. So you cannot go to anybody and say that they are selling it's really just gonna be you if you end up taking an L on this game mode but I'm telling y'all if you do decide to try this game mode out as soon as you get used to playing 1v1 you're gonna have a lot of fun doing it especially with the fact that we have rebirth now so you can try out many different types of build in this type of game mode and honestly if you decided to go about it and make a build that's gonna be strictly a 1v1 build this is gonna be the game mode that you're gonna be able to finally test it out in now you do get a good amount of experience as well considering the fact how quick you get games out of this game mode now with this build as y'all can see pretty much i've been doing everything when it comes down to the dribbling also when it comes down to the shooting definitely and the playmaking side of things as well but one of my favorite things about this build definitely is of course the defensive end but more so you're going to be able to post up smaller guards when they're defending you even people that are going to be the same size as you, the finishing is very solid and this is easily one of the best builds to be using this year. Now, I'm not just saying that, but when it comes down to having a rare build name and able to find success with it, that just makes it even better. And that's just my opinion, but I got to go ahead and put y'all on because again, at the end of this video, I'm going to be showing y'all how I made this build, what it looks like and everything that goes into it when it comes down to the progression and how far I've gotten with it. Now. There are two takeovers that I normally do like to run. That's going to be the shot creating just so I could break ankles. And also it's going to be the lockdown defender takeover. In some of these videos, I do have the sharp shooting takeover just to try it out to see how much it's going to help me out when it comes down to the shooting end. But honestly, I would highly recommend picking the lockdown takeover for any build that can get it just so you can get some help on the defensive end, especially for this 1v1 game mode because you're going to be getting the ball back and forth. That's another thing that I really like about it is that when you score, you definitely go right back to the defensive end. And that is where 1v1 has completely changed when you compare it to last gen as well as current gen. And when I say last gen, that is PS4 and also the older Xbox. Current gen is now the new Xbox as well as the PS5. That's just how I'm going about it. But also to be very mindful of, if you do decide to make a build strictly just for the 1v1 court, be sure that y'all put some defense into it because you're going to be playing on both sides of the ball. And the last thing that I want for any of my supporters is to be going out there with no defensive badges. As you can see, even on the inside, I can say that this is a real strength when it comes down to this build. I get some contact dunks on this build as well, especially when it comes down to this kind of game. You want to be able to unlock as many as animations as you possibly can. Now, when it comes down to the defensive end, for my opinion, I have to really say the defense is so solid on this build, y'all. You can move at ease, guard anybody one through the five. And the biggest thing about it for me is that when bigger players are trying to post me up they do not find success because i have a long wingspan and honestly the way that i did make this build is going to be perfect because it's going to be able to defend anybody one through the five like i said but on top of all that 
if you know how to dribble and shoot on this build that is going to take it over the top and the reason why i did pick that shot creating takeover is because it gives you a huge help on the defensive end when you do activate it i tend to get a lot more steals when i'm in takeover for some reason and honestly i can say it's a huge help regardless if you do decide to put on the lockdown takeover or not now the amount of steals that I get on this build is actually mind blowing y'all. For me, I was really surprised because yes, pretty much with boost, I will have a 99 steal. But then when it comes down to the shooting and paired up with that, makes this build just that much more lethal. Now something that I really gotta mention to y'all, as y'all see the ankle breakers being fancy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that again because I really like the animation that we're able to get out of this build. Hit him with the behind the back to the mid range shot and then I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it with the post game. But back Back to what I was talking about y'all so in all of these gameplays I only have an 80 mid-range and a 78 three-pointer no 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 it's actually an 80 three-pointer and a 78 mid-range no boost even added now if y'all can see how good I am shooting on this build without boost without all of my badges I'm telling y'all the build is only going to continue to get even better as well as the gameplay that I bring to y'all if you want the jumper go ahead and drop a like as well as a comment and i most definitely got you and i'm gonna remind y'all only an 83 pointer without any boost equipped it in all of these gameplays so that says a lot about how easy it is to shoot on this build as well as with the right jumper now the last gameplay i got lined up for y'all gonna be going up against a three star general perimeter lockdown i'm gonna show y'all what this build can really do i'm telling you this build is really about that now this dude has double lockdown takeover defensively on this build i'm telling you i get a lot of bumps especially when people try to drive it in or even go from the corner down baseline this build can do everything that you're going to be wanting to do and for me i didn't make this build because of the stats or anything that it comes with i more so kept it because of the name that i got the two-way pass first wing and for some reason i have no idea why a lot of people on current gen love leaving you open i'm not sure if that's just more of a 1v1 court type thing i'm not sure if it's also because they don't know how to play defense but when it comes down to it leaving me open i'm just gonna go straight to the corner and green it at ease and honestly you could even green at the top especially with the right badges as well as the correct takeover pick now as you can see he's starting to try to post me up he is much bigger than me as well as much wider when it comes down to the muscle and this build is not budging at all i'm telling y'all this this is easily the most well-rounded build that you're going to be seeing all year and you get some really good dunks out of this build as well like i said earlier you will be able to get the pro contact dunks if you make it the way that i did and i'm going to be showing y'all later as well what the build is going to be looking like after this game now in this gameplay i happen to have the lockdown takeover that is normally what i do but as you can see when it comes down to the dribbling on this build i am moving just as fast as any other build in the game and that is definitely a huge reason as to why i took it huge w in my opinion for this kind of build part lockdown and i'm gonna be able to still break ankles on this build which makes it even better for me now you can always go ahead and double up with a sharpshooting takeover or even a lockdown one but honestly if you're going to be able to drop your defender to the floor i see no reason as to why you wouldn't pick that lockdown or even pair it up with the shot creating takeover that's been a huge help to me the inside game on the post scoring is definitely one of my favorite things as well but honestly the fact that how we move and how quickly we do is a huge w y'all now i have pretty much showed y'all what this build can do when it comes down to the defensive end inside on the post scoring both on offensive and defensive and then when it comes down to the dribbling pretty much you're going to be able to do everything as well as drop your defenders to the floor the shooting is definitely on point but look at the movement that you're going to be able to get on this build if you do decide to make it he's leaving me open i'm already going to finish off the game so y'all most definitely know i gotta send him out of here with the green three now if y'all made it this far i appreciate y'all i love y'all and i mean that when i say it and i thank y'all we're gonna go ahead and get into what this build is gonna be looking like but again just know and i gotta give y'all that daily inspiration if you have a dream go ahead and do one step towards it today in order to accomplish that i guarantee y'all if you want to be a youtuber go ahead and start making your first video start rolling from there if you want to do anything in life just get it started that's going to be the hardest thing about it from there everything will follow into place as long as you follow your heart and what you're telling yourself to do now let's go ahead and check out this build first we're going to go ahead and get into the attributes as you can see i'm a 91 overall right now but honestly the potential out of this build 
has not even been seen yet now as you can see we do get an 87 driving dunk do also get a 75 vertical we just need to upgrade it and then from there we will be able to get the pro contact dunks that's going to make the gameplay even better and i cannot wait to bring it to y'all but as you can see when it comes down to the badges this build is definitely different from what i'm showing y'all now I'm normally bringing y'all builds with over 100 batches, but this one I really just took a look at the stats and got everything that I could possibly want out of it. Also remember, you're going to be able to buy boosts with this build, run with the right teammates that have floor general and defensive leader, and then on top of all that, you're not going to need any extra badges on the defensive end. You get 30, so if you do end up getting the plus one badge from each season, that's going to be a huge help to this build. Now, the takeovers, we get the sharp shooting, also going to be getting the shot creating, playmaking, and then we also get the lockdown. So, four takeovers that are going to be very overpowered. The perk that I do like to run is going to be the accelerator run, just so that way we can get the shot creating takeover much quicker or even the lockdown and then just play better from there, y'all, especially with that 1v1 court type. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about this build is going to be the health. Again, we normally do buy boost, but as you can see, I was not running any boost on any of the gameplay. I normally do get the shooting as well as the dunks boost, but this is pretty much the end of the video, y'all. So if you made it this far, I appreciate y'all. And again, I thank y'all for your support. Most of all, thank y'all to the man upstairs for another day that we have here. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Anybody who wants to join the Rich Gang family, and I mean anybody, go ahead and turn on post notifications as well as hit that like button. I would appreciate it. That helps me out so much. I need y'all to know, just do one thing extra to reach your goal, and I promise y'all you will get it. I love y'all, and I thank y'all. And man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Thank God and Rich out.